Ladies and gentlemen, this is Manchester. Hosh. Look at this for a view. Full length, bloody window. Right? Not gonna lie, boys have done good. The last two days of the Crank It Up tour and we are living in lux, well not lux, it's pretty, it's pretty luxurious. I'll give them that. Definitely the best hotel I've been in on this whole tour is right here, right now in Manchester. Bloody mega, let me give you a tour. You know you love a tour, don't you? Okay, and welcome to another hotel room. I've commandeered both beds. I've still not committed to which one I want. Do I want the view or do I want the access to the toilet? I am getting a little bit older now, so probably the access to the toilet during the night. So here we are in the bathroom, welcome. A nice low toilet, giving good angulation of, of that hip, which will allow for easy passage of stools and <laughs> poops. Solid size shower, me and Tim can both fit in there. One can have head while the other has head, I guess. So we can give each other head in there. Different shower heads, taps, <laughs> mirror. Shower cap, your main utensils when it comes to Solid glasses though, they're really good. And that's your bathroom, and then we're coming to here into a full length mirror there, that's beautiful. Bit of voyeurism could be uh, going on here, check them out, oh, what's happening in those beds? Nothing, absolutely nothing. So, probably gonna go for this one. This is what I like to see beside a bed, the amount of hotel rooms I've been to that don't even have plug sockets next to the bed. Not only that, we've got USB connection and standard connection, turn that off. We've got light switches here, we've got a solid big wardrobe. Wardrobe? What? Ooh, lav! Bit of lav in there. I'm so glad I found that. Nice little station for your um, utensils, kettle. Just in fact, let's pour that while I'm here. Bit of hot chocolate, you know it. That's your room tour. Um, I'm gonna head down to the venue now because we've only got like two hours before we set off and, and start the, the the evening of proceedings. Don't feel too bad actually, feel pretty good about this one. Uh, I'm hoping that they're gonna bring it more than London. Not that London didn't, but definitely felt down there once we'd been everywhere else in the world or, or Europe, that there was a, a distinct lack of commitment when it came to them really letting themselves go and cheering on their, their friends. So it was good, but I'm hoping Manchester's gonna be just slightly better because we're, we're a bit more free, a bit more open up here, a bit more liberal when it comes to our expressions in public. Let's go. All right, folks, what we got here? Nice little setting for a party, maybe? Pret. This is where we're heading, as per usual. Venue 12. Bosch. Bosch, Bosch, Bosch. You know what I was just thinking of? What? Winston Churchill for some reason. <laughs> nah, it wasn't, it was Chris Pritchard. He walked through the door. This lovely, lovely face. Hi, it's me, Chris Pritchard. Listen, right, I've just arrived at the venue. And according to Patrick, Patrick Smith from Swift and that, 400 people have signed up for this event. This place will barely hold 45 people. So, we could be in for an absolute... What's the best word to describe it, Chris? A sardine factory? Saga. It's sardine saga. It's going to be sweaty and tight. Just how I like it. Over 300 people is cast as a concert. A gig. A gig. Yeah. Is it, you know, is it, is it licensed? We won't go into that. Is it licensed uh, legit? All oh, right. What, are you, are you being honest if it's over? Honestly, oh, it's over the capacity of this game. Not 450. Mum's the word. No, they said it was 500. They said the capacity of this place is 500, but there is an upstairs as well, so maybe that's upstairs and downstairs, but let's take a look at this venue anyway. Entrance, so straight from the entrance, bang. You're into the, um, the Zwift Parte. No messing about. So we've got three stations set up here. As you can see, the boys are working tirelessly, as ever. Louis over there, look. It doesn't matter. He's got a high-status job. Still gets his hands dirty. And you've got the other techs there. There's Chris, DJ, Patrick. 
All right, so another event here with, on the Cranky Home Tour, and guess what? Yeah, that's right. Oosh! He loves it. I didn't film anything. I filmed absolutely um, f But, thankfully, Katie of Katie Cookerborough fame from the YouTube, so make sure you subscribe to her channel. She sent me her footage, so I've put together a nice little edit of what happened tonight at the Cranky Tub Tour in Manchester. Watch it, enjoy, subscribe to her channel, and go and say thanks for the footage. Yes. for a brand new kicker. I mean, Emma is riding for a brand new kicker. Um, Have we got What? Have you got I don't know. No, just look at the time. Where are you going to find 30 seconds? But we're now, we're now my side of the chance. It's a fair amount of distance between the times. Because of the amount of effort that Sam put in, and how soon he put it in, we might see a different result to what's on that leaderboard now. We don't get these riders are competing for a brand new Wahoo kicker. Ah! Let's get these Come riders on the way down and down in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Everybody, give it up for your win! Everybody, please turn around and give it up for your DJ. Yay! Now, I might have said that this hotel room had all the amenities that I needed. That it was a lush, spacious hotel room. That it was beautiful. But one thing it doesn't have is comfortable, god damn Pillows, Crown Plaza, I am so annoyed. I had this many hours sleep. Well, I had probably like this many hours sleep because of your stupid, thick pillows. My neck's hurting. I've got a cold now. I'm not happy. Absolutely not happy. But waking up to a lovely little bit of Manchester and a lovely little sunrise with a few clouds in the sky make it just that little bit better. I wonder if anyone can see me over there. I'm standing here, half naked. Hey you, down there. Hey you. Janice, can you see me? Janice? Janice? Oh no. Imagine if I caught a robbery or something on a camera. I mean, that clearly doesn't look like a robbery because you're going in the opposite direction, but wouldn't it be good? I mean, it won't be good for the person getting mugged, but maybe this is going to be it. Let's see what kind of interaction they have here. Don't even talk to each other. Oh, here we go. Drive by? No. Just a simple delivery driver. Rider. Oh, or is he? Maybe he's a drug mule. Is he going to get hit by the... No. Standard day in Manchester. All right. In the lift. Going down. Downtown. Well, downtown Edinburgh. I mean, up to Edinburgh. It's north, isn't it? North. Scott Rail, way better than South West Railways in London. No delays. 
Always on time. There you go. You what a local. You what a local. How is it here? It's brilliant, isn't it? Train was on time. Tartan. What do you think over there? In Wait, skirt. Yes. Do you want to go out Princess Street? Do you want to go out Princess Street? Uh, let's go Princess Street. It's got to be a weird way to take Zoom in on that scarf. Right, this is it. Last stop on the Crank It Up 2019 tour. We are in Edinburgh. Can I get an amen? <laughs> Thanks. Beautiful Tiger Lily. If you've been to this hotel, you will know how bloody gorgeous it is. It's bloody gorgeous, I tell you that for no right? But it is stunning. And I've not told the boys, but for some reason, this boy here, probably something to do with the Commonwealth Games success, isn't it? It's not. But I got a complimentary upgrade to a suite. So, on the last night of the tour, I get to sleep in a bit of a luxury. Suck on that one, boys. Hesh. The time has finally come. Venue 13. Unlucky for some, not for me. That's a, oh, it's busy. Alright. Here we are. Here it is. Here we are. It's Mr. Pinko. You okay? Yes, perfect. Yeah, man. Make some big noise for these riders. People might see. Like, we're going in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, riders. is done. There's Ed. And I've lost my voice. It couldn't have happened at a better time to be Just fair. Look at that slide. Should we jump on it? Should we go and jump on it? So now we're just scouring the Ah! Ah! Wait. There. Right, so I've really got work at putting the voice down. Because if I talk in my normal voice then it just goes. So if I go really deep, then it stays. But there's the Christmas the Christmas lights of Christmas in Edinburgh. There's the the Helter Skelter. But yeah, we go into a bar. I don't know where it is, but it should be fun. Look at Ed, still in his kilt. <laughs> it looks like a, it looks like Jimmy Cranky. <laughs> All right, and that is it. The Crank It Up Tour 2019 is over and done with. And what an amazing tour it was. Listen, if you came to any of the venues that we were at, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for bringing the noise. Thank you for bringing the atmosphere. Thank you for getting involved. Thank you as well to Wahoo and Zwift for allowing me to be the old MC. I mean, Half of the time I didn't know what I was doing, but hopefully we entertained enough people to, to have had a good time, and I think the majority of people did. And I like to think that at least half a percent of that was down, down, down to me. Thank you to the boys that came on tour. They made it what it was. It was bloody, bloody brilliant. I don't know what the plans are for 2020, but hopefully we'll be back with another tour. I don't know where we'll be going if we do. I'm still feeling very tired, still feeling very sore in the old throat from it all. I'm gonna have a nice easy relaxing week next week then get back into training i was supposed to start training on monday but a bug of that i feel crap hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you know when we go live with our brand new videos or our live streams until the next oh in fact there's going to be another video tomorrow on how to stream if you want to set up a cycling stream watch tomorrow's video 
Give that a like. Give it a thumbs up. Share it amongst your peers. Have a good weekend, everybody.